Good evening. I call to order the joint committee meeting of the Health, Education, and Welfare and Business, Finance, and Justice Committees. Today is October 18th, 2022. The time is 5.30 p.m. I would like to ask Representative Crawford for our invocation. Please stand if you're able. Dear Lord Jesus, I just thank you for another blessed day. I thank you for allowing us to come together to conduct meeting for our committee and for our nation. I ask that you watch over us, open our hearts and our minds that we may make the right choices and decisions. And I ask this all in your most precious name and pray. Amen. 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 Roll call by legislative clerk, April Lindsay. Mary Crawford. Ben Lega. Joyce Deer. Alega. Anna Marshall. Present. Robert Huff. Alega. Leonard Gouge. Patrick Freeman. Randall Hicks. Present. Sandra Golden. Present. Thomasine Yahola Osborne. Present. Mark Randolph. Madam Chair, you got seven present and three absent. Seven present and three absent constitutes a quorum. All business conducted will be official. The first item of business is the approval of minutes of September 20th, 2022. Madam Chair. Oh. Representative Marshall. Representative Marshall, hold on just a minute. Representative Crawford was before you. I make a motion to approve these minutes with any necessary changes. We have a motion on the floor from Representative Crawford to approve the minutes of September the 20th. Is there a second? Second. Second from Representative Golden. <clears throat> Roll call vote, please. Mary Crawford? Yes. Tom C. Hall Osborne? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yeah. Robert Huff? Yes. Randall Hicks? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. I'm sure you six in favor and zero against. Six in favor and zero against. The minutes of September the 20th are approved. First item of business in the order of business, NCA 22-133, a law of the Muscogee authorizing the expenditure of grant funds awarded from the Internal Revenue Service for the benefit of the Office of the Secretary of the Nation in Commerce. Sponsor, Randall Hicks. Madam Chair, I make a motion to do pass. We have a motion on the floor from Representative Hicks to do pass. Is there a second? Second. Second by Representative Golden. Discussion, please. Madam Chair. Yes, you have the floor. I'd like to give uh, the secretary, the acting secretary of commerce, or secretary of the nation and commerce, Zachariah Hargill, a few minutes to uh, explain the legislation, please. Mr. Hargill, you have the floor. Hi, um, I'm sorry, I was, I just left a meeting. What uh, is the proposed legislation that we're talking about? NCA 22-133. Okay, I'm trying to get that pulled up, one second. You said NCA 22-133. Uh, 133. Oh, okay. Um, so this is a regular award that we get, we've gotten year to year. I believe we've got about four years in a row. Um, it's from Treasury's Depart um, VITA program, so the Volunteer Income Tax Act and Assistance Program. And this portion is for the tax counseling for the elderly. So it's the same program. Uh, that provides free tax return assistance 
uh, for any uh, U.S. citizen that makes with under, I believe, 58000 a year, it changes a little bit year to year. But the TCE is for uh, those that are 59 and older um, and requires no match from the, tri uh, from the tribe or the nation. At, um, and like I said, we've received it year after year, and it's just a continuation of the funding that we've received uh, from previous years. Okay, thank you, Mr. Harjo. Are there questions from the committee for Mr. Harjo? Any questions from council online? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Randall Hicks? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Thomasine Yehola Osborne? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Senator Couch? Yes. Madam Chair, you have eight in favor and zero against. Eight in favor and zero against. NCA 22-133 is passed. Next item, NCA 22-134, a law of the Muskogee Creek Nation authorizing the expenditure of grant funds awarded from the Internal Revenue Service Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program for the benefit of the Office of the Secretary of the Nation and Commerce. Sponsor, Randall Hicks. Thank you. Mr. Madam Chair, again, uh, motion from due pass. We have a motion from, for due pass from Representative Hicks. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Second. Second from Representative Golden. Discussion. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I'd like to give uh, Mr. Zachariah Harjo a few more minutes to discuss this piece of legislation. Okay, Mr. Harjo, you have the floor. All righty. So um, this is the second half of the legislation. So um, similar to the first uh, piece for tax counseling for the elderly, this is for VITA, which is 59 and under. Um, this does require a tribal match, which is the next legislative item on the agenda at 5050. Um, I guess the primary thing that uh, we're excited about is this is the second year that we've ever been awarded VITA funding. And we are the only, uh, we're one of two entities in the entire state that received a, a VITA grant. And last year it was the same case. Um, but the only other uh, entity or tribe that has ever received uh, VITA grant funding from the IRS is the Chickasaw Nation, the Cherokee Nation. So um, it lets us know that we're doing a good job because both of those uh, tribes have uh, much more advanced VITA programs in that uh, they have staff that only uh, work towards the uh, fulfillment of the VITA program itself that are not uh, borrowed from other departments. And uh, we're trying to get there, but, you know, this is a good sign that we've made all the progress necessary uh, to keep things moving forward. Thank you, sir. And, and I would add that uh, we're the, uh, us and Chickasaw Nation are the only recipients in Oklahoma, tribal or non-tribal. And last year, it was Cherokee Nation, but we've been the only recipients in, this, in the entire state. And that includes all of our non-tribal uh, VITA site and competitors when we uh, submit the grant application. Thanks, sir. Are there questions from the committee for Mr. Harjo? Madam Chair, this is Thomasine. Yes, Representative Thomasine Yehola Osborne, you have the floor, please. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Harjo, do you have any idea how many citizens we were able to assist last year? Yeah, um, so there was about, I believe, just under 300 that we uh, that completed for the VITA side and then with TCE added in, we are about uh, four to 500. It kind of varies just depending on, like, so for, uh, let's see, tax year 21, which is where we filed, uh, we also do previous years. So sometimes the numbers get confused and that, you know, the overall number of people that we serve is greater than 400 but not all of them were uh, for tax year 21. Some of them were pre from previous tax years. Um, and we're always looking to grow. Uh, I think the biggest thing that we have going for us is that year to year, we've demonstrated growth. But additionally, um, we're the largest VITA program in our region outside of Tulsa. Um, and I think, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement that we could do with as the program uh, stabilizes in the years uh, moving forward. Thank you, Mr. Harjo. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Representative Yehola Osborne. Are there other questions for Mr. Harjo? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Randall Hicks? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. 
Mary Crawford? Yes. Tom Yahola Osborne? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Robert Huff? Yes. Leonard Gouch? Yes. Madam Chair, you got eight in favor and zero against. Eight in favor and zero against. NCA 22-134 is passed. Next item, NCA 22-135, a law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing an appropriation for the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program for the benefit of the Office of the Secretary of the Nation and Commerce. Sponsor, Randall Hicks. Thank you, Madam Chair. Motion due pass. Okay, we have a motion for due pass from Representative Hicks. Is there a second? Second. Second from Representative Golden. Discussion, please, Representative Hicks. Thank you, Madam Chair. Again, I'd like to give Mr. Zachariah Harjo a few more minutes to explain this legislation. Okay. Representative, I'm sorry. Mr. Harjo, you have the floor, please. Madam. Um, so as I previously mentioned, uh, the VITA program requires a 50% match. Uh, the overall budget that we proposed to the IRS was 30000 with 15000 coming from the Internal Revenue Service and 15000 coming from Tribal Resources. I believe last year it was funded through self-governance funding. Um, I believe Tara Branson or Secretary Branson at that time funded it through some of the self-government operations. My request this year would be, um, and of course, I guess we can work through it with uh, finance, is that it would come from Tribal Revenue because... We have a number of opportunities, you know, whether, and I think it's a relatively small investment, uh, 15000 from tribal revenue, but uh, whether through ARPA funding or even there's a new fund that's uh, been created by Treasury called the Local uh, local and Tribal Local Assistance and Tribal Consistency Fund, uh, wherein uh, we can, the nation can make expenditures that are eligible and then get, and then recoup those expenses after, you know, we receive an allocation from Treasury. This would certainly qualify for that. Uh, but uh, to my knowledge, I think a tribal revenue would be the most beneficial uh, because it's free from the other implications of any other funding source that we might uh, make the match with. Uh, but I appreciate your consideration of uh, this investment. Thank you, Mr. Harjo. Are there questions from the committee for Mr. Harjo? Are there any questions from council online? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Randall Hicks? Yes. Sandra Golden? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Thomas Yahola Osborne? Yes. Anna Marshall? Anna Marshall? Robert Huff? Yes. Leonard Gouch? Yes. Anna Marshall? Madam Chair, you got seven in favor and zero against. Seven in favor and zero against. NCA 22-135 is passed and it will be sent to BFNJ for funding source. We're down to other business. Is there any other business to consider? <laughs> Hearing none, we're down to announcements. I have an announcement. If all council representatives would stay online after the next meeting at 545, which will be a joint meeting between HEW and LNC. So please stay on the line. Madam Chair? Yes, Representative the Osborne. The BFNJ committee, they'll meet on Thursday at 3 p.m. BFNJ, Thursday. Yes. Thank you. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. This is Mark Randolph. My apologies for getting on late. Thank you. Glad you could join us. Thank you for being here. If there are no other announcements, we're down to our adjournment and benediction. I will ask Representative Golden if she will do our benediction. Let me stand, stand please.
Dear God, we thank you for this precious day that we've had for all of us to come together and do the business for the nation that affects our citizens. And we, we do our best and we thank you for everything. Please give us traveling mercies for the ones who have to go home and take care of their loved ones. And uh, maybe we can come back together with your grace. All these things I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.